you get too involved in shagging, it will change your life. about 10,000 people that come for 10 days each week, and we do nothing but dance. It started back in 1980s. Uh, Sweetwater started it with all the old beach lifeguards and all the beach bums that used to live here, and they decided to get together and just have a weekend of a get-together with everyone. And, and then it's, it has just gone on and on and on, and is now I mean, look at how many people are here. Where did you go? We went to the beach, boy. We shagged all week. What did you do? <laughs> so we shagged. We had the best times. And Lord, I said, wow, I don't know what to do. I said, what did you do? I said, we shagged. I said, you what? <laughs> of course, now, shagging means shagging in America. <laughs> This is the way we define ourselves, and this is the way we define the kind of people who live and love shag are people for whom the world is a cold beer on a warm night with a hot date and no plans for tomorrow. That's about all you can ask for. When you're around a group of shaggers, it's all fun and happiness. When you're shagging and when you're out at a shag event, you have no worries, you have no concerns about anything that's going on at home, anything that's going on in business. Everybody's old, everybody's bald-headed, and, and everybody just has a good time. Instead of doing a turn like, like that, shaggers slide in like that. Six count, be shag, one and two. Three and four, five, six, that's, that's the basic. And no matter how good you are, you have to be able to do that basic. Now, if you're very, very good, you'll have to do it. But you gotta be able to. It's very subtle, very smooth, visually, you know, attractive. You're responding to your partner's lead. Therefore, you, you, you're in that room all by yourself as far as you're concerned. It's just you and your partner and the music. And it's a magical moment. You know how I learned to dance? Holding on to a doorknob. You go in the kitchen, grab a hold of the chair and dance with the chair. You hold on to the doorknob, dance with the doorknob. The real truth is shagging didn't begin at any one spot. Anywhere there's a beach, there was a pavilion and people went to dance. A lot of people that's older than me that I admire can tell you some stories about uh, the, the times that they had down here, sleeping on the beach, uh, uh, sleeping on people's ports and sleeping under their house and, and not having anything to eat for three or four days. And, and, uh, but that was the way of life for people from the beach. And uh, it, was never a, it was never a dull moment down here.
when it was named the Shag, probably came from some of the old beach bums who took the dance, which was an old fashioned jitterbug style of dance, and determined that they wanted to smooth it out and uh, make it sexy, so they slowed it down. beautiful music you've ever heard in your life. And if you can stand on that dance floor and feel it in your heart, it boom, 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 boom. You can feel the beat of the music. And if you can feel the beat of the music, you can do the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shag music is music shag or shag to. The beach bands like 60 Minute Man and Miss Grace and Nip Sip. The music bonds you. you if you like that type of music, it's there. And, and if you like it, that uh, partner, that somebody else is going to like it too. And I've seen people sit over there and say, oh, it's been so long since I heard music like that. Oh, doesn't that, oh, it just, I could sit here all night and listen to this. As far as dancers, shaggers are concerned, when you say shag, the first thing that comes to mind is North Myrtle Beach. The uh, area of North Myrtle Beach from the North Carolina line all the way down to Pawleys Island is the longest stretch of open fr ocean front on the, other than in Florida on the Atlantic. And it's called the Grand Strand. And people who've been going down there all their lives since, since the early 30s and 40s became known as Stranders. A lot of people that, that grew up on the beach, this is all they know is coming to dance on an outside pavilion. They're not about going to some of the nicer clubs with the pristine air conditioning and pristine floors. That's not how they grew up. So they got something dear in their heart when they come here to dance, and it takes them back in time, as music does to people. It takes them back in time when they saw their first drive-in movie or that first kiss. They remember that songs with that era, so here we take them back. There's uh, five or six clubs that, that are here. Uh, Ducks, uh, the Pirates Cove, Fat Harrell's, OD Resort, which has Two, two or three clubs, Spanish Galleon and the OD Cafe in it. My wife and I go out shagging. We walk in the door, I might not see a fun owl. They can uh, go out with a crowd and enjoy themselves and, and dance and dance with other people and dance with, with other people's wives and husbands and so forth and nobody's offended. I will dance with every girl there. She will dance with every man there. Girls ask men to dance perfectly proper. Uh, the object is to have a good time. And uh, if that person comes up and asks you to dance, it's not because she likes you or something like that. It's just that she wants to dance. And you don't need to take that away from her. Shaggers bond quickly with each other. We look after each other. We take care of each other. Shagging for me is good exercise. It. Um gives me something to look forward to outside of your home activities. It's a way of expressing feelings that I could not express as a child. It's a way for me to, any feelings I feel, whether they're joyous or sad or whatever, according to the music that I'm dancing to, that's, I try to interpret what my heart's telling me to say. If y'all don't look really forlorn, I'm coming in. Ellen is a classy lady. She has done, she has done more than any other grown woman I know, with with helping promote junior shag. A junior shagger is fun. 
and they're, they're very lively. We can also be laid back and to be very calm. And we encourage our kids to, to dance socially with everyone. And at our Junior SOS, that's exactly what they do. They dance with everybody. They even ask me to dance. If someone asks me to dance, if they're older, if they're younger, if they really don't know what they're doing, I'll still go there out there and dance with them. I think it's wonderful that we have somebody that wants to carry on the dance or to keep the dance going. Yeah, the people that we teach, teach more people, and it keeps getting bigger and bigger. The young kids at Junior SOS, which is down here this week, we hope that that will be the crowd that will take our place when we're gone. You would never believe some of them, the smoothness and the, uh, 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 the, the time that they take to learn this dance. I've met so many people, so many good friends. For a lot of people, this is their life. And this is my family's life, pretty much. And I wouldn't ask for anything else. Um, it's a lot of fun. I love it. They always put the smile on my face when I am out there shagging. It's a lot of fun. I do it all the time. a lot of people, you know, to be more respectful and um, people that will learn, I hope they love it. I hope that the shag keeps going and that I hope that everyone enjoys it when they try it. She's pretty good. <laughs> She's pretty good too. We, we love our kids. Yeah. We love the kids, yeah. yeah. Dancing too, right? Helping keep Shag alive. You're doing well, great. honey, I just want them to, to love the Shag like I do. That's the main thing. what our lifestyle is all about. We are a bunch of old people living a teen life. <laughs> and every second of it, I mean, we have a 10-day SOS, and that 10 days is we go from noon till whatever time. <laughs> take breaks, they'll leave and come back and go home, take a nap, go eat, come back. They're, but they, they're down here to enjoy themselves the whole 10 days. Then you holler, please don't stop. There'll be 50 minutes teasing, and 50 minutes squeezing, and 50 minutes of blowing my top. 
super great people. I mean, great time, and everybody's really, really friendly. And salt of the earth, salt of the earth is right here. bitten by the shag boat the first time. And having all these clubs right around here within walking distance and the city's so cooperative with the shaggers and stuff, I think it makes it a pleasant occasion for everybody. Oh, man ain't treating you right. Come up and see old Dan. I rock em, roll em all night long. I'm a 60 minute man, oh yeah. I wish, uh, wish I could dance more. I can't. I don't have the stability I once had. It's hard to give it up. So uh, I guess I ought to just be happy that I can go, sit in the crowd, and be a part of it. And I am. I'm very happy that I can do all that. I would not have had the opportunities that I've had, and I've had many opportunities to go to parts unknown that I never dreamed I'd ever go to and met people I never dreamed I'd have the opportunity to meet. And it's all because of Shag. I've enjoyed every day of my life. Somebody said, Harold, why don't you retire? Of course, my daughter graduated from Clemson and, and uh, she and her husband are in the mountains and I sort of live by myself. And I said, uh, if I... If I didn't come down here on these bars, I wouldn't have nobody to drink with me. <laughs> so where we will go, we'll go somewhere. There'll always be a DJ and a dance floor and a blue handbud and a bartender and a contest shagger working on steps and a new shagger learning them for the first time. There'll always be someone somewhere. It'll keep us going. <laughs>